everybody, my name is Breed and this week we're going to be making some characters like these guys. Some shady looking characters. But the last couple of videos we've had, we've been making some autumnal art uh, using some leaves and things that we found out on our nature walk. Um, we're still using the same bits and pieces. Uh, last week we, first week we did a mosaic with all the leaves and things and last week we did some woodland creatures, we did some little owls from a chestnut and snails from a chestnut and hedgehogs also from a chestnut. But this week, seeing as it's Halloween, we're going to try out some shady, more shady type characters. Um, and mostly they're made from leaves. I did make a couple of guys that you saw in the video. Again, they were from the chestnut shell. And I just took the, a picture of them in front of a, an orange light just from, it was a salt lamp if anybody has one. If one, people want to take some photographs of them afterwards in the dark and things like that. Um, our Wexford Art Centre are actually doing a a wonderful workshop we're all doing it on saturday and uh, we're all dressing up and if you'd like to join us please do dress up as well for the fun um and we're going to be doing some characters and they're going to be made into a uh, show you they'll show you how to make them into shadow puppets for halloween night and that should be great fun um there'll also be like storytelling and things like that so these characters are kind of just characters from my imagination. They're not ghosts, they're not anything like that, but they're just from my imagination and using, as I said, all these things we got from nature. Here's another little dude, kind of like the one in the picture. And he was just from sticks and a chestnut shell. And this guy was can see him he was made from leaves and glue and then I painted him I don't know what he is he's kind of strange looking and he will make some great shadows I pretty I think and this guy as well I'll put some really big eyes on this guy he I don't know what he is but it is Halloween so um, and the other little thing I found was this. If anybody knows what a stick insect looks like, this re this guy really, really, really looks like one. Even though I, I did nothing to him, I might have. I actually think I did put some little eyes on him there, but he really looks like just a stick insect. So he'll go into my little collection as well, and I don't have to do anything with him. But I'm going to show you how to make these two guys from, as I said, just some of the old leaves we had, dried leaves and a bit of PVA glue. And you can make like, there I made a kind of a round shape and here I made a, a long shape. So you can make whatever shapes you like and then color them in and afterwards. So I'll just put my video down here and show you got to it and thanks for sending in some of your pictures as well that you've um of things you've made from my previous videos i love seeing pictures so if you can send them in um put them in on wexford art center facebook page it would be great or send them into the box office either so what i'm going to do is just get a bundle of old leaves There's just a bundle of old leaves that I didn't get to use. Um, and I'm just gonna break them up and put them in an old little old carton like this. I just this is just a yogurt carton, but just something that you don't you probably won't get to use again. Um and just break them up. Now, 
and it depends on how big or small you want the your little creatures to be and what shape you want them to be you could try out a few of them this one will be a little bit small and get some glue and pour some in and I have an old brush here that I used with glue before use one that you don't um, that you maybe keep just for this for using with glue because the glue doesn't really wash out very well from them and another bit and just mix it all up I'd love to see if you do um, make some characters a really big one. That would be fantastic. And there are so many leaves out there. We can have as big as we want. So I use some cling film. Just You only need a little bit. Um, and I'm going to use the same cling film that I used before. Because we don't want to be using too much plastic. Um, and... And pour it out into the cling film. And the cling film is great because it just allows you to make whatever type of shape you want to make. And the glue over night maybe will 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 stick together. You won't get to use it on the same day. But it will stick together overnight and actually it takes a little bit of time to like kind of dry out hard um, and what was really kind of creepy was that they it really felt like a live animal when you when you touched it with the glue and it was a bit it's a bit like slime or something I don't know if you like slime I don't so it's a bit creepy but that's perfect for Halloween there you go. So you just leave him to dry overnight and he will be like a smaller version of what we have here. And then you can take off the cling, cling film and start to decorate him. Like with these, I this guy, I just stuck in some, some um, bits of branches, bits of twigs that I've collected and these are from acorns just for googly eyes but you could just paint on the eyes or i painted on some colors and things on his on his back um and the same here i just used some sticks for the legs and this is kind of like his antenna and his big long tail as well it's just something i picked up outside so yeah you could get really creative and have all manner of different creatures going on here but that's how you make their the body anyway and yeah there's lots of different things you could you could make with this um so yeah you could make a few and maybe if you do make some before saturday bring them and show them but saturday you'll be making your own cast of scary monsters and and ghouls and things and um, there'll be a little bit of storytelling around it and how to show them in like torchlight up up um, for Halloween night at home with your with your family be great um so yeah thanks again for watching bye <laughs>